Good morning, folks. We've got three space weather events relevant to Earth today. We'll hit the weather, top science efforts, and find an Easter egg blast from the past, literally. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on the sun appeared to be quiet until that bright active region at the northern lead of the dark coronal hole began crackling and snapping. We do indeed have small solar flares hitting the charts, and while they're truly as small as flares can be, the action and emission seen at the actual active region is telling of the coronal energy. The sunspot group really did come out of nowhere in the Earth-facing position. New spot born beta class and laterally spreading ever since. No solid magnetic mixing as of this morning, but we'll have eyes on those all day. Solar wind here. Again, taking the full seven-day look to see the rise and now descent out of the coronal hole stream. Geomagnetism is returning to calm and quiet conditions as well. The next solar wind stream could arrive in about a day. Meanwhile, the phi angle is pointing sun to earth and on top of the solar flares and IMF connectivity, we've also got a significant planetary geometry to start the month with earth on the line. Saturn conjoined with the sun from our perspective. Website members, we've got the full month's planetary geometries in your deeper look section of suspiciousobservers.org. Moving next to Indonesia, where that tornado we showed yesterday, the volcano and tsunami to end 2018, the rough go continues as that same storm that dropped the tornado created an immense landslide with many people still missing. Thoughts are with them. Up next, we're going to the outer reach of the solar system. 2014 MU69 goes by another name, Ultima Thule, and indeed they have arrived at the most distant Kuiper Belt object ever reached. One wishes they had some better photos, but at least they have indeed resolved the shape and the rotation profile, which doesn't help the light curve mystery, but it is a start. Last but not least, we've been discussing the recurring nova possibilities at stars in our most recent series, and this is one of the things that lets you know the scientists have had these things in mind, but perhaps were unwilling to be so overt or obvious with it. Whatever the reason, it's not easy finding gems like this in the solar nova category. Link is for you below the video. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps followed by shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.